Good morning, everyone. Welcome to MAPI 8, Unit 2, Family Life. That involves courtship, dating, and marriage. I am Jason Moran Logroño of Pangantukan National High School, and I would like to thank Mr. Carlo Justino J. Luna of Malabanas Integrated School, Angeles City. So, let us define what is family. So, family is the foundation of society which is primarily responsible for shaping the lives of its members. Family consists of mother, father, and the fruit of their love which is the child. So, the main duty of the mother and father is to shape the life of this child through educating him or her as well as teaching them good values because if they will going to teach that they will learn something and they will become a productive and useful citizen of the society in the future so each of the family it all started with a thing called love story it is all it began so let me ask you do you know how your parents met and formed your family were you able to ask them their love story remember that it is quite useful for us to know how our parents met how they be able to create their love story because of course in it uh, they will share something like how they be able to overcome the trials and challenges that they actually faced which is you can use it in the future upon having your own kind of love story so of course we have the word infatuation or love so these are words that is quite similar and different at some point you might ask what is infatuation and what is love so both are intense emotions that one feels for another person the two feelings differ in their actuality of love intensity and final outcome as an individual of course we all undergo the stage of invitation especially in our high school years our puppy love and we uh, we also go through the maturity stage we're in we really feel that this is actually love so infatuation is the state of being completely carried away by a risk unreasoning passion or love also known as addicted love it is admiration for someone while not recognizing that person flaws you love that person based on his or her looks probably based on your, the standards that you actually give or set to yourself it is also a feeling of likeness to someone in a short period of time which means that it might uh, actually takes weeks or a few months and suddenly it will actually fade while love on the other hand is a feeling of intense affection for someone it is based on a true desire for the other person's best interest again especially if elementary days and high school days college days probably you actually feel infatuated to someone but as soon as you actually mature and you actually feel intense emotion to someone where in you be able to uh, sacrifice something then that's called love and also you want the best interest for the person so you are not just thinking of what you can get out of loving that someone you are aiming to become the birth, uh, best version of yourselves and that's what we call love so before we feel love of course we actually feel attracted to someone and that is what we call as attraction 
because attraction is the admiration for someone that may include the desire to get to know that person better. Usually it takes place in the form of infatuation or crash. So here's the picture of two individuals getting to know each other or simply dating. So after the attraction and you are actually eager to know that person better, especially if you are actually a boy, then that's the time that you will going to proceed to what we call as courtship. So courtship is the period in a couple's relationship which precedes their engagement and marriage. During courtship, a couple gets to know each other and decides if there will be an engagement. Of course, gets to know each other more. So what movie he, that he likes, what he did not likes. So that's the time. Because, of course, it is a test of compatibility between the two persons. So if you're not uh, compatible with each other, the more you uh, have misunderstanding, the more you have fights, and probably you're not really meant for each other or meant to be. So courtship is an opportunity to know the background of each other, including the family where each one belongs. So here in the Philippines, we do have different traditional practices of courtship in the Philippines. It varies of how we actually show our love to someone. So in the Ilocos region, we do have the term tapat, which is serenading or harana, to be in front of the woman's house and sing love song to show that he actually liked that girl. Next is Tagalog region. We do have the thing called balagtasan. The suitor begins singing a romantic song and then the courted lady responds by singing too. Sana all. Okay, next, let us proceed to Luzon. The rooster courtship. The rooster is assigned to be the negotiator wherein the male chicken is left to stay in the home of the courted to crow every single morning for the admired lady's family. So that means that the rooster itself is a reminder that there is someone waiting for the lady of the house. So in Bulacan, they do have the term maninilong or naninilong. It is serenading from the basement. Still, it's a singing way of showing love to the person. While on the other hand, Batangas, they do have gestures and acts actions where in serenading with the Galog love songs accompanied by a guitar then doing household chores pay respect to the woman's parents by saying Manu po. so in Batangas they do have the three things they do have uh, serenading doing household chores and pay respect to the woman's parents so in Pangasinan they have the term Tagaamo means tamer it is a form of love potion or charm so, us medyo uso pa no ng gayuma. But it's a kind of way that they actually like that person. Not liter- literally na they are actually doing uh, the gayuma thing. Next is palabas. It means show or drama. The suitor pretends to commit suicide. If the lady will not going to say yes. Sana all pakamatchan. Okay, next is Pangasinan. So, same with the. Oh, so, next is Kalinga. So, Kaising Ibgan Pangis. A man and a woman are separated into houses. The house for the males is called Ato, while the house for females is known as the Alog or Agama. Now in Palawan, Pasagole, Love Riddles, 
to assess the sentiments of the parents of both suitor and the woman. We also have pabalik, is one to settle the price in a form of dowry that will be received by the woman from the courting man, just like in a Muslim family, that you have to give something for the family of the woman you are courting. Next is in Cebu, we have the term balak, as in serenading love letters sent through a trusted friend or relative of the woman. So I guess, especially that we are actually moving in a world of technology, sending love letters is not that um, a trend nowadays, but it's actually uh, quite lovely if the person that actually like you gives you a love letter. It's quite kilig kilig moment. Then you have presents to the woman and her relatives. So when I ng regalo, then love potions. Next is Leite, Pangagad or Paninilbihan. The suitor accomplishes household and farm chores from the family of the woman approximately one year before they get married. So that means that they do have to work. Like for example, uh, mag-iigib ng tubig, um, mag-aararo sa uh, sakahan, ganun. Just to test if that ser- person really loves that woman. Then, subok, a trial or test period for the serving tutor. So, uh, it means that if that person uh, can conquer the one-year period of doing the household chores, then he... Uh, really is into that uh, lady but if not then probably they are just not meant for each other so pag nagmahal kayo wag kayong susuko kahit kahit gaano kahirap ang mga uh, ibinibigay na mga test na mga parents di ba next is tausogs of mindanao so palabas sarakahan tapul or Magwasumbahi, a suitor would threaten to stop his heart while in front of the courted woman's father. If the father of the woman refuses to give her daughter's hand, then suitor is smitten by a knife. So that means that, of course, pag hindi na gustuhan ng papa, ng babae yung lalaki, of course, he will be stopped by a knife. But, if not, then, of course, their love story will going to bloom. Magobo submit na now. To send a knife or a spear as a gift to the home of the courted woman for inspection. Accepting the weapon is equivalent to accepting the man's romantic intention and advances. So it's very clear na nagbibigay sila ng regalo, especially knife or spear. Diba? So pag kinuha ng parent ng babae, that's the time na uh, accepted na na siya ay nagkukor. So courtship practices at the age of technology. So, a suitor can court through use of cell phones, the internet, and social media. But this courtship practice is alarming. You should be careful and responsible for everything you post in social media. Think before you click. So, of course, you really don't know what the person's attitude because you actually uh, like getting to know them through text and chat which is not really beneficial for you and like in the olden times uh, of course they really get to along get along with uh, themselves especially the girl and the boy as long as with the presence of course of the family so they're actually being guided why is it important for couples to undergo courtship so it gives a person time to know better the character and background of someone being considered as one's future lifetime partner it gives time to understand one another and determine if you can get along with minimal conflicts it reveals 
one's interests, likes and dislikes, limitations and aspirations. It allows the couples to decide whether they are ready to be committed. It allows couples to determine and focus on what to expect in marriage. It develops security and establishes respect for each other. It develops understanding and acceptance. So that means that if you actually undergo a courtship, that's the time that you're really uh, ready to create your own family in the future. And of course, in a courtship stage, there uh, are problems that you're going to face and you'll better be facing it together. And that's also the time that you actually get the person's uh, real thing. His good and bad self. But if you really love that person, of course, so you have to accept his good and bad side. Now, next, we proceed to dating. Dating is a social activity which involves two or more generally assessing each other's suitability for a potential relationship relationship potential relationship it means that after courtship of course you have to undergo dating like you actually set time where to go just for example you go to church you go to a cafe um, you go to plaza that's a simple way of uh, doing the thing uh dating Dating can be enjoyed as part of an already active relationship. Dating is a form of courtship consisting of social activities done by two people as partners in an intimate relationship or as a spouse. So it is also a way of practicing uh, uh, a family during the uh, dating stage. So you're like a married couple by that time without papers. So dating is an act of meeting and engaging in some mutually agreed upon social activity together as a couple. So what are the types of dating? We have three types. The first one is standard date. It involves two people. Next is double date. Of course, that's two couples go on a date at the same time and same place. There will be two boys and two girls. Next is group date, where any number of couples can enjoy a date. Just for example, if we do have five friends, then all of you have girlfriends and boyfriends. Then, And if you set time and band together, like going to a resort, then probably that's a group date. That's the thing called group date. Or going to church importance of dating so it strengthen the relationship spend quality time with each other observe the other person's character know one another better no one's strengths and weakness so this is the time that of course you have to again accept the person's good and bad side and if you really can't go along with that then that's the time that you actually need to let go of that person if you can't be able to accept his or her by side reveal any potential problems the partners may have develop affections and respect for each other so what are the risks connected with dating so date rape so there are instances that uh, probably that certain guy do have intentions of uh, raping you especially if you are actually dating in a uh, dark places so again do not go to dark places for a date use of illegal drug illegal drugs so again do not use illegal drugs even if the partners will say that if you really love me you have to use this you have to drink this no that's a big no no so you better find someone else that is better for you Early and unwanted pregnancy. So again, be careful of uh, being pregnant at an early age. So again, in each of our reactions, there will always be corresponding reactions. So probably as a student, your main goal in life is uh, to finish study first as much as possible. Next is fall prey to thieves, robbers, kidnappers, or other types of criminals. Of course especially if uh, you are going to date in a dark places 
okay so if you actually go to a dating place probably you have to go to church cafe wherein there are a lot of people so you will not be robbed or kidnapped at times dating even the people you think you know may be risky if they are just pretending to be trustworthy but really have bad intentions again at times dating even the people you think you know may be risky if they are just pretending to be trustworthy but really have bad intentions so again let us all be careful kasi uh, baka nagbabalat kayo lang na mabait pero yun para may, ma- may mga masabang balak especially if uh, winom ng alak ganun remember pag may alak may balak so again drink responsibly so what shall you do it is important to be cautious and safeguard yourself to avoid mistakes that you will regret later on so again uh, so that there will be no regrets made in the future so let us all be cautious and let's get to know the person's background it's very important to know the person background and if you're really sure of that person then that's the time you are going steady so engagement takes place Engagement is a period of agreement entered between two people in love for them to be able to know each other and their families well enough to be sure that they are ready and are suited for a lifelong companionship. So, engagement allows you to uh, talk with the parents of each child and then uh, share your uh, your visions as well as your plan in the future so there will be times na medyo mahirap ang engagement process because probably uh, you will not going to get along with the parents but what matter the most is if you really love that person you really need to fight for that person until the end so after engagement, that's the time that you will going to have the most uh, memorable event of a human life. That is marriage. Marriage is the most enjoyable human relationship ever. Of course, you have to create your own family. It is a, a, a new beginning, a new chapter of your life. Marriage is the most significant event that may happen to one's life, especially for the girls. It only it take only two people, a man and a woman, to unite and make a real successful relationship as married couple. So again, if you are going to commit to a married life, of course, please do not cheat as much as possible. Focus on giving time to your wife and to your husband, to your child as much as possible. Marriage is a lifelong partnership of a woman and man. So, it's not like the products that if you don't want it, then uh, you are going to return it. It is a lifelong partnership. So, I know that there will be times that you will going to argue, but what's matter the most is that you will going to solve it as much as possible. And breaking up or having annulment is not actually the solution to all of your problems it actually makes uh the child in the future uh be troubled of the situation that you actually give to him or her so marriage is a band between two people who continue to grow and develop their best qualities as human beings So what are the factors to consider in choosing a lifetime partner? So I give you this. First is good character. He should be or she should be adhering, responsible and honest, hardworking, industrious, respectful, and compassionate. 
Next is maturity, handles relationship responsibly, makes wise decision and well thought out decision. Just like for example, nung uh, magjawa pa lang kayo, probably palagi kang umiinom. But when you talk about maturity, once you are married, of course, you have to uh, do the drinking occasional na lang. So, pag may occasion na lang, saka ka na lang mag Ganon. Because again, family first. That is the best thing to uh, reach maturity. Next is fidelity. It makes the relationship lasting, considers the relationship sacred, sincere, and true to promises made to one's partner. So you have to be sincere of the promises and vows that you actually uh, made in the church or in a court. Next is commitment. Makes peaceful and lasting relationship, dedicated and fulfilling responsi- responsibility. So, if you actually uh, made a promise, of course, you have to actually make it. Kasi, of course, if hindi mo nagawa yung promise mo, that means that you're not really uh, sincere. Diba? So, if you are being committed to someone, if uh, may nasabi ka or may na-promise ka, you have to do it uh, for a uh, happy and a peaceful married life. Next is love. It strengthens the relationship with the partner, understands one's partner, endures till death. Again, yeah, it's not easy to have a family in the future. You, you will undergo a lot of pain, a lot of fights. But again, if you really love that person, then you will endure everything. As long as, uh, always remember that as an individual, know your self-worth. Next is economic readiness. Aims for a better future in the family. Able to provide for the needs of the family. Maintain stable job or business that can support the family. Because again, if you're going to make a family, make sure that you have a stable job. Because, of course, it is your duty as a parent, if especially if you do have a child, to give the needs and the wants of the child so that uh, she or he will have a productive childhood. Diba? Yung aim lang naman natin in the future is ayaw natin na maghirap yung bata natin or yung anak natin or ayaw natin na maranasan nila yung mga naranasan mo noon. Just like for example, if noon uh, working student ka, so in the future, make sure that your child will not going to uh, be a working student because uh, that's the th- time that she should have a full education. Dapat hindi na mangyari sa iyo yung or hindi mo iparanas sa kanya yung naranasan mo. Because again, it's your main duty as a parent to provide the needs and the wants or the education of the child. Next is physical maturity. He has a healthy body, accept and is part of partner's physical features. So again, in choosing a life and partner, it doesn't matter if he's not handsome, he's not beautiful. It's a matter of the total package, the inner beauty. Because aani mo naman ang guapo or yung maganda kung may attitude naman o Anin mo yung maganda o guapo kung cheater naman. Ganon. You have to be able to set your uh, mind na kapag nang mahal ka, it doesn't matter how he or she looks. It's matter the totality yung magand- kagandahang loob, especially for you and for your family as well. So what are the ingredients of a successful marriage? 
of course, love, understanding, respect, care, loyalty, shared philosophy, cooperation, growth, involvement, sharing and giving, and communication. So, lahat ng mga nga ito, of course, if you're going to uh, follow all of this, then I think uh, your marriage will not fail. Because remember that there are a lot of uh, married people that turns out to separate. And I don't want you to have that kind of life. I want you to endure on to be committed to your partner till the end. Diba? It's very nice kasi uh, there are a lot of nice love story but it did not end well. Pero may mga paspasan naman na love story pero they actually work it out. So again, ang advice ko lang is aral muna bago uh, boyfriend, bago uh, bago bisyo kasi of course, sooner or later you're going to create your own family. And as much as possible, you have to uh, give them the life that they always deserve. A life that is not uh, troublesome at some point. Yung life na, okay, may nakakain kayo, may nabibili kayo, di ba? It's very uh, trumpan kasi ngayon na may mga uh, family na yung early sila na uh, early nila nag and then wala silang mapakain sa kanilang anak. It's quite painful and sad to think but it's actually the life that they actually choose. So, ika nga nila pag pinanganak kang mahirap, hindi mo yung kasalanan pero pag namatay kang mahirap ka din, then it's your fault. Because of course, uh, we all need to go the stages of life. From being single, to being a taken, and then to being a family person. So I do hope that you actually learn something for today. So special thanks and credits to all the people who made and released these awesome resources for free. Presentation templates by slides, carnival photographs by startup stack photos. Presentation design. This presenter uses the following typographies. So titles, homemade apple. You can download the fans on this page. So just click it. Okay. So that would be all. And God bless you. I do hope that you are going to. Uh, reflect of the things that I have said in creating and choosing your partner in life. So that would be all. Thank you everyone. So this is Jason Lograño signing off.